In this video, we are going to discuss about how a router is booted up and while booted up, what are the precautions we have to take so that the router is booted properly. We will be looking into it practically in the packet tracer. So you can see these are the routers available which are 1941, 2901, 2911 and the rest of all generic routers as well as the 2621 into M routers. So we take this 2901 router as an example and we are placing it on the screen here and when you double click on it it will open and I will show you clearly here you can see the self decompression of the image is taking place here that means the system bootstrap and the version is starting so it will ask you continue with configuration dialog yes or no since this one is a simulator which is developed by the Cisco so it will automatically configure this router so you can see the attributes available here you see this is the router available and you can see the back view and front view of this Cisco router and you can see the slots available here and you can zoom in into it and you can check here about the devices uh, what exactly the connections are available and system account and the PoE connections which are available and you can see here very clearly the HWIC 2T is a Cisco 2 port serial high speed WAN interface card so this one is an interface card for the WAN and it is of 2 port serial high speed providing 2 serial ports so again you can see here this side you can see that it's a customized view of the Cisco router so now if you go into the configuration part you see here it automatically selected no so this is all very clear that when a system or a router boots up here it clearly shows the version of it the release software of the technical support of the Cisco developed it and also about the read only ROM on initialized so after that you can see clearly the prog the program is loading complete an entry point it entered at so and so 0x8080300 with the size of 0x1b340 and it is an iOS image load test and you can see the digitally signed release software by the Cisco and also you can see the information of the device very clearly about onboard devices and buffer pools and the number given to it and also the restricted rights of legend that means it is about the uh, user license agreement which is clearly given here so you can also see the company's address which is in San Jose California and also you can see the release version which is 15.1 bracket 4 MF and also you can see it's M5 here because this is this is a virtual simulator then you can see the release software technical support address also which is clearly given here and when you go down it shows you all the important information about this router and also the system dialog box here and this is the written to get started so this is about the CLI how the router boots up and what are the commands which are automatically typed since it's a simulator but these commands should be typed very clearly when you're adding a new router into your network and when the router boots up this is how we have to configure and this is the initialization of the router so in the next video we will be looking about how and what are the commands executed in the router configuration in the startup configuration or the boot up configuration of a router and how they are used or how the VLANs are also configured we will be looking into it